In fact, there are more reactions coming in to what T.H. Mustafa, the Kerala leader of the Congress, said about Rahul Gandhi. Let's listen in. All right, Naveen Nair is now joining us with more details from Thiruvan and Puram on that story. Naveen, what is Mustafa's image like? Is he taken seriously and how, se how seriously really is he taken? Now, Mustafa is a very senior leader in the sense that, uh, uh, considering his age, but at the same time, he doesn't have that kind of a following in Kerala, as far as the Congress leader has. So, let's be very clear about this. Mustafa doesn't have the stature of an Oman Chandi or an A.K. Antony or a Ramesh Shinitala or even for that matter, even a Waila Ravi. So he's not that, that kind of a leader the, the, which comes in the first uh, circle of leaders in the, obviously who are close to the Gandhi family also in Kerala. But at the same time, uh, he has been, he's still a KPCC Executive Committee member. He was a minister in the K. Karunakaran uh, Ministry in 1991. Uh, so, but he is also a tainted minister. He has also been a tainted minister who was sacked once. So in that sense, uh, he's a senior Congress leader. No doubt about that. So people are shocked in that sense. The Congress Congress uh, uh, party in Kerala is shocked in that sense. But this is perhaps a reflection of the kind of mood that the Congress has felt throughout the country. Because remember, it is perhaps only in Kerala that the Congress got the double figures, you know, the, uh, across South India. So that's so. In that sense, uh, there is a feeling that okay, this is this is the, the fact that you are putting the blame on Rahul Gandhi. But he went a little too far to the extent of calling calling him a joker, even at the same same time saying okay. the party. But yes. this was bound to happen at some point of time mm -hmm. this was bound to happen that's the kind of feeling but let me tell you mustafa is a very senior leader but not the stature of a leader like kuman chandi or a mission all right navin narmay thanks for putting that into perspective for us